In this lesson, we're going to be solving exponential equations and we don't have to use any logs, okay? If that's something that you haven't even heard about before, don't worry, this lesson is not going to have any logs. The lesson after this, there we will be using logs. So, what you want to do, first of all, let's actually explain what is an exponential equation. An exponential equation is when you have an x in the exponents, either on both sides or on one side, it doesn't really matter. What you want to do is you want to make the bases the same. That is the goal. So the goal is make the base the same. The base is these numbers down here at the bottom. Okay. So if you can get these to be the same, which they are already in this easy example, then you can literally just ignore them and then just rewrite the equation like that and then you solve. It's literally that easy. There will be some examples in this lesson where the bases won't be the same, and then I'll show you how to change them so that they become the same. So there I just took this 2x over where it became positive 2x and added to this 2x to become 4x, and then if I divide both sides by 4, I end up with x equals 2, negative 1 over 4. Here's our next example. So this number is not the same as this number. But we should know that 6 to the power of 2 is 36. 6 to the power of 3 is 216. These are just numbers that you're going to get used to um, as you practice, okay? So what that means then is I can say 6n minus 1, and I can change this to 6 to the power of 3. Now these numbers are the same. So I can end up with n minus 1 is equal to 3. If I solve, n would then be 4. Try this one yourself. If we say 5 to the negative 2x, this is the same as, we know 5 to the power of 2 is 25, so we can change it to 5 to the power of 2. And then if you um, drop 5s on both sides, then you end up with negative 2x is equal to 2, and so x is equal to negative 1. Now this one's pretty interesting. So what we're going to do here is, let's bring this 25 up to the top. Now, if you have something like 1 over w, for example, if you bring that to the top, then it has to become a negative. Let's say, for example, you had 1 over v3, then it would have to become v to the negative 3 if you take it to the top. So this is currently 25 to the power of 1. So if you bring it to the top, it's going to become 25 to the power of negative 1. On the outside, you still have this negative 2v. What do you do with exponents over here, or exponents and powers? For example, if you have a3 to the power of 2, what do we do with those numbers? Some of you might say, Kevin, we plus them, but that is not correct. You only plus them when it's like this. Here you actually multiply. So you're going to do the same over here. You're going to multiply. So it's going to become 25 to the power of 2v. Now, did you know that 20, 625... Um, 625 is the same as 25 to the power of 2. So you could say 25 to the power of 2. Then these are the same. If you don't like that method where you have to think about 25, then what you could rather do is you could break this number down. Let's maybe do that. You could break that number down. We know that 25 is the same as 5 to the power of 2. Okay? 625 is the same as 5 to the power of 4. So some students prefer that. Then what we need to do is we need to multiply this so it becomes 4v. And then what happens is that these 5s can now cancel. And so 4v is equal to 4. Divide both sides by 4 and you end up with v is equal to 1. The next examples are going to be quite a bit more challenging. Let's not say I didn't warn you. So in a situation like this, I would bring this 64 up to the top so it would become a negative like that. And then on the outside, we still have that. I wouldn't change this 64 right now. And then this 4 I'd bring to the top. The next step, I would just go get rid of these brackets. That's going to become 64 to the power of b, because you're multiplying those two. And then here you're going to multiply this. So it's going to become 4 to the power of negative 3b, take away 3. Now, there's a number of things you could do here. You could take all of these numbers, or actually, let me just quickly explain something. We could put these two together. You know, if you have a to the 3 times a to the 2, what do you do with these exponents? You add them. So if we have 64 and 64, we can leave it as 64, and then you add these exponents. 
Now we have options. You can break this number down to two to the power of two, and this one can be two to the power of six, or you can just leave this one as four to the power of three, and then you can just leave this as four. It doesn't matter, you get the same answer at the end. So I'm gonna do that. Then I'm just gonna multiply, or let's quickly simplify this. So B, B take away three B is negative two B. So it's gonna be negative two B add one. I'm then gonna have to multiply this over here. So you're gonna end up with four to the negative six B add three. There we go. And what we can do now is we can cancel the fours on both sides. And so you end up with negative six B add three equals to negative three B take away three. Then what we can do is take, and now you just gotta solve for B. So I'm gonna take this to the right and I'm gonna take that to the left. And so that's gonna end up with negative three B plus six B is three B. Divide both sides by three and you end up with B is two. So for this question, I would take everything to the top. So 81 to the negative one, then 243 to the negative one, and then three to the negative one. The next thing I'll do is um, get rid of that and I'll get rid of that. So that's gonna become 81 to the positive 3V because if you multiply two negatives, it becomes a positive and then I'd multiply that as well. So that would become 243 to the power of 2V and then I'd multiply those two so it'd become three to the power of 3V. Now, this is the same as three to the four this is the same as three to the, so I don't know, but I just type it on my calculator, like three to the four doesn't work, three to the five, ah, oh, it's three to the five. Okay, and then there we go. Now I would get rid of these brackets over here. So you multiply, so that becomes three to the 12 V and three to the 10 V. I would then put all of this together. You know, if you have A to the two times A to the four, it becomes A to the six. And so that's gonna become three to the 22 V. Now you can cancel the threes out, so you're just left with that. Now, if you take all the Vs to the left, you're gonna end up with um, 19 V equals zero. If you divide both sides by 19, you actually just end up with an answer of zero. Two more examples. Okay, so I would bring this one up to the top like that. I would then change this to five to the power of two, and this one can be five to the power of four, and this one can just stay five. So five to the power of two, then I have to use a brackets for that part on the outside. This is five to the four, have to use a bracket. There we go. Now we need to get rid of the brackets by multiplying, so that's gonna become six take away six K, five to the minus four. Okay, so now these are multiplied. So if you have, for example, A to the four times A to the three, you add exponents. So that's gonna become like that. Let's simplify all of this. So this positive and this negative becomes a negative. So it's gonna be six take away four, which is two. Then drop fives on both sides. And so you end up with two take away six K equals to two and then we can solve for K. So I'm gonna take this over to the other side, so it'll become two take away two, which is zero. Divide both sides by negative six and you end up with K is zero. Here's our last example. So I'm gonna break this down to three to the power of three, three to the power of three, and three to the power of two. So three to the three, I have to put it in brackets now. And then three to the power of three, like that. And then three to the power of two, to the power of three n. Okay, get rid of the brackets, so three n plus six. Some learners only do that part, but you have to do both. And then three to the negative three n add three, and then three to the six n. Now, gotta go put these two together by adding exponents, just like you would over here. And so that's gonna become three to the three n add six, take away three n add three, and then we're gonna end up with three to the power of, uh, these three ends are gonna cancel, so that's just gonna be, we're gonna be left with nine, and then on this side we just have that. Cancel the threes, like that. 
divide both sides by 6, and you should end up with n as 3 over 2, or if you want, you could also write it as 